Hi, Sarah Stahl speaking here. Okay, in today's video, uh, I'm going to be uh, talking about keyword research. I had a ton of people ask me um, about keyword research lately, and could I make a video on keyword research? So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, to be honest, I don't do a huge amount of keyword research, uh, mainly because you know I, I get most of my traffic from my email list. And I build my email list primarily with um, other sources of traffic, things which don't require search engine optimization. Um, so, and, you know, so I, I tend to get, you know, use free traffic sources that don't require SEO. And I also use paid traffic sources uh, as well. Probably the only two things I use keyword research uh, for, generally speaking, um, are, are video marketing and when I enter a new niche, so I could learn, so I can learn the kind of industry jargon um, of that niche. So normally, um, when I start keyword research, I, I start off uh, with good old uh, Google. So here we are on Google. They've done something uh, kind of weird to their logo today. So there we go. <laughs> um, I like to use the Google keyword research. So you may or may not know this. You can type in. When you type something into Google, you may have seen this before, they, they kind of bring up different uh, suggestions. So they're saying, you know, how to lose weight well, how to make pancakes, how to make money, how to lose weight. Um, also, if we just hit the return key and go to the bottom of the page, we've got some different suggestions there. So that's that's something called uh, Google Suggest. You can do a little, a few more kind of fancy things with that. Um, like you can put a star in as, as a placeholder. And then we've got here, um, so how to money order, uh, let's just say, let's just see that. So we've got how to make money. Um, let's just take out the space there. There we go. So how to make money, how to save money, how to make money fast, how to make money online. So there we go. We've got some keywords that are related to how to money. So if we go to the bottom, uh, we've got some some more uh, related there. So that's kind of like a really um, kind of simple, simple way um, of doing keyword research, uh, which we can use, uh, you know, just by using the Google keyword tool, um, or rather the go uh, just using Google um, as a as a keyword tool. Um, so that's uh, kind of you know, usually a good place to start. Uh, the other thing which you can do is you can use something called the Google keyword tool. So if you just type in keyword tool, um, you're, it will come up here, the Google keyword tool, which is actually now called the Google um, keyword planner. Uh, to be honest, it's something I don't really use. Um, you know, there are a ton of videos showing you how to use it. It is a free tool. You do need to sign up for a Google AdWords account uh, to use it. Um, and that will tell you how many people per month are searching for different keywords themselves. Personally, I like to use specialist software tools and there are a ton of different tools out there. They all have their pros and cons. So I'm going to be showing you the tool which I use to do my keyword research. So I use uh, this tool here called SE Cockpit. Uh, one of the best tools I've found over the years, I, I, I've used um, various different keyword tools over the years. You know, ranging from you know the Google Keyword Tool, I've used Market Samurai, I've used keyword tools which I've installed on my computer, like Market Samurai. Um, and and these you know any software tool you need to install on your computer, you can run into problems. You can get your IP address uh, kind of like banned, and it can tie up your machine, which is why I like using services like this, which are completely. Um, yeah, so so SE Cockpit is not installed on your computer. It's it's what's called a cloud-based service. And that's that's why I like using it. So let me just quickly show you inside the members area. So uh, w with this tool, I'll, I'll show you it working in a minute. But what we can do is we can put a keyword in and within um, about 30 seconds, uh, you will get a list of different keywords uh, based either on uh, just the regular Google keyword tool data um, or um, from things like the Google Suggest tool. Um, what they will also uh, provide you with are monthly search results for each of the keywords, and we can order them by, uh, you know, which which keyword gets the most searches, for instance. Um, we can also see things like which video, so which uh, keyword has a YouTube video on the front page um, of Google. Uh, what uh, which keywords have Amazon uh, web pages on the front page of Google, and there's a ton of other things you can do as well. You can check to see if there's a domain name, an exact match domain name available uh, for that particular uh, keyword. I won't do that right now. So we, if we wanted to, we could check to see if there was a domain name. It tells you how much the cost per click is. And there's also um, some competition analysis. So uh, this is obviously a very, very competitive keyword. But if you want to, we can just double click on that keyword 
and it will bring up straight away uh, kind of like um, the, the top 10 results in Google. The more green there is, uh, the easier it, it will be to, to rank. The more red there is, the harder it is to rank. And we can get an idea of the different um, page rank of each website on the front page of Google, how many backlinks uh, each web page has, etc., etc. So in other words, how hard is it going to be to get onto the front page of Google? Um, you know, if we come down here to some you know slightly less competitive keywords, uh, let's choose something like this. Uh, we can see there's a, a little bit more green here, so it's going to be slightly easier to get onto the front page of Google for one of these types of keywords. So. Uh, this is the, the keyword tool I like to use, SE Cockpit, a great tool. Um, and, you know, one of the things I, I particularly like about it is the fact that um, you can find out if there are any uh, YouTube videos ranked on the front page of Google for a particular keyword. So we've got a, a keyword here, how to make money online for free. 3,600 people uh, per month search for that keyword. Uh, we can see there is a .com available and there is a .net available for that uh, particular keyword. Um, so we could buy a domain name, that exact match domain name. There is a YouTube video ranked um, in the top 10. So let's go and have a look at that. Um, and we can see here that, uh, let's just have a look. Um, you know, we, we, we can see um, that uh, we've got, uh, you know, quite a lot of green here. So it's going to be relatively easy uh, to rank a video on the on the front page of Google or, or even rank a website. But we can see here, this is the actual video uh, that is ranking at number 10, actually. And we can see that, you know, uh, that's, yeah, that's backlinks. So the, the actual video has only got two backlinks to the actual video itself. So... Um, you know, I won't go into technical details about what this means, but in other words, it's going to be relatively simple to get our video ranked on the first page of Google. And so this is this is why I like using this tool, uh, particularly for video marketing. Um, and you know, when you're when you're trying to get traffic to uh, an affiliate offer or to your own website, a lot of people tend to go after things like make money online, uh, how to make money, work from home, kind of very very obvious keywords or if you're in the weight loss niche a lot of people would go after keywords like um you know weight loss um you know diet lose weight things like that when these are the wrong kind of keywords you want to be going after so um when i'm you know going into a niche i will normally try and piggyback off the competition of other people's keywords so in other words in uh let's say for instance um the uh you know make money online niche i would be choosing competitors' products um, as keywords to use to try and get traffic to my website. So for instance, uh, right now, if I was uh, trying to get a video ranked in Google or, or a web page ranked in Google, I'd probably go after a search term like optimized press because uh, that's a, a you know that's a, a software tool that a lot of internet marketers use. So what we could do is we could come here and we could type in optimized press as a, a particular keyword. Um, we can search for English language, uh, all countries and territories, or if we wanted to, we could just search one particular country. Um, and uh, I think that's good enough. So I'm just going to click save um, and close. If we want to, we can use the Google AdWords suggest um, or just the Google AdWords here. Uh, I'm just going to leave that as it is and click save and close. And what this actually does is now um, the system is actually going out there and doing all the research on that particular keyword as well as the full competition analysis uh, for that keyword. You can see how quickly that's come back. Um, so what we can actually do, we can see here that 12,100 people a month are searching for optimized press. Um, there actually, there isn't a, um, a video on the front page of Google, which is interesting. And if we double click on it, Okay. Um, okay. So it's, it's still analyzing uh, the data, but we can see here that we've already got um, a. Uh, we can we can see the trend, how much traffic uh, this particular keyword is getting every single month. Okay. So let's uh, have a look at that again now. Okay. I had to wait about um, about a minute for that to optimize, and now if I double click on Optimize Press. Uh, we've got the full competition uh, analysis. So uh, this is really great because it we've got this competition analysis and it's done this for 
uh, literally thousands of keywords uh, within 60 seconds actually. So uh, we can see here, look, there's, there's a lot of green um, on this page, so it's gonna be fairly easy to, to rank on this page. Um, I would think that we could we could possibly get a um, uh, a YouTube video uh, actually ranked on this page. If we come in here and have a look at, um, we can see here squeeze pages. There's a YouTube video ranked. Optimize press login. That's interesting. Uh, 590 people per month search for that. That's interesting. We might be able to get some traffic from that. So it's all about thinking a little bit outside of the box. Um, so you know that's you know that's what I I like to do. So I like to find keywords um, like you know you know competitors uh, competitors keywords. Um, so we've got uh, let's just go back to the top. Optimize press. We know uh, that's a very popular keyword. Twelve thousand one hundred people a month search for that. And to be honest, I don't think it would be that hard to get um, either a, a YouTube video ranked on the front page, Facebook page, or a forum post ranked on the front page of Google. Um, in the weight loss niche, um, I wouldn't just go after a keyword like weight loss. I would look for a competitor's keyword. So I'm going to choose Herbal Life. Um, uh, so uh, I know Herbal Life, they get um, a, a ton of traffic. So let's let's have a look at that. And I'll type in Herbal Life. And what I would do, um, so for instance, you know, in, in the diet niche, if I want to get some traffic to my squeeze page, for instance, I would create a, a video all about Herbal Life and then try and redirect traffic to my squeeze page. So I'm just going to wait for that um, to optimize. Just give, I'm going to give it about 60 seconds and then uh, the keywords uh, should come up. So I've, I've just done this, comp I've just done this uh, search on uh, Herbal Life in the um, weight loss niche. Uh, they're, they're a big, uh, big player. They, they create, um, uh, they've got a kind of multi-level marketing type uh, affiliate program. Uh, they have milkshakes, uh, well, they're not actually milk, but, you know, shakes and diet shakes, things like that. Um, and they're a fairly big player. Um, you know, we can see, look, over a million searches a month, massively, massive, 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 uh, you know, keyword uh, for the weight loss niche. And obviously, I, I wouldn't go after something like Herbal Life as a, as a direct keyword because uh, it's going to be very, very competitive. But a really interesting thing about looking at this straight away, I found that, look, the actual... Um, for some reason, the um, it's really cheap to buy traffic. The actual cost per click, look, 62 cents. Uh, you know, I bet if we looked at weight loss, it's going to be several dollars per click. So for whatever reason, it's very, very cheap to advertise um, in this niche on Google AdWords. My guess is uh, they've been kicked out of um, uh, uh, Google AdWords or Google AdWords has banned them. Let's have a look. Um, I'm really interested. So... Uh, no, there's okay. There's lots of people. Herbal, there are Herbal Life um, actual adverts, uh, but um, it's actually saying here that the cost per click is really, really cheap. So that's that's interesting. So we could um, create um, uh, an advert uh, talking about Herbal Life and redirect them to our web page where we're talking about our offer, our product. One of the interesting things here, we've got people searching for Herbal Life side effects, side effects of the diet plan. Um, you know, we've got uh, 12,100 people per month searching for that. It's only 54 cents per click, so that's really cheap. There's a YouTube video on the front page. Uh, there's an Amazon page on the front page. That's really interesting stuff. The .com is available and the .net. So you can actually go and buy HerbalLifeSideEffects.com. Whether, I mean, maybe Herbal Life might come after you if you tried to buy that domain name. I don't know. But if we, let's have a look at the competition on that this page. So, for instance... We can see here there's, there's all this green. It's going to be fairly simple to get a web page ranked on this on on the front page of Google. In fact, we've got a um, a, a YouTube video already on the front page of Google. Uh, we can see it's got no it's got virtually no backlinks to that page, um, which is really interesting. It's got it's got some Facebook likes and some Facebook shares, but to be honest. Um, I know from previous experience, uh, just looking at that, if I wanted to, I could get um, a video ranked on the front page of Google for Herbal Life side effects, probably within two weeks. Uh, what I would do is I would create a video talking about um, the different side effects people have had from Herbal Life um, milkshakes and then talk about my diet plan and say, uh, or, or talk about, you know, say I, I've created this uh, this shocking review, this it's too radical to, to, to share to the public, so you have to opt in to, to see it or something like that. So 
uh, this is how we can divert traffic away from keywords like this. It's a little bit of thinking outside of the box, uh, a little bit of work, but uh, you know, this, we could probably be getting several thousand visitors to our website if we utilize this one keyword and one keyword group. Um, Herbal Life UK. Uh, that's interesting. Um, let's have see uh, Herbal Life login. Okay, Herbal Life stock. Does Herbal Life work? That's interesting. That's quite an expensive keyword. Um, but there is a YouTube video on the front page. Let's have a look at that one. So I hope you're kind of seeing where I normally go with keyword research. Again, a relatively easy um, one to rank for. Uh, there is a YouTube video ranked on the first page, but it's got no backlinks. Uh, it's got a little bit of social media traffic. Uh, it's got some tweets, some Facebook likes, but nothing we couldn't beat. So this is kind of the extent which I do keyword research, only really for doing video marketing. But if you are doing keyword research, remember it's all about thinking outside of the box. Hope you found that useful. Um, I will put a link to um, to this keyword tool, the um, SE Cop Hit, uh, below the video. And um, I hope you find it useful. SE Cockpit, by the way, is probably one of the best keyword tools I've ever found. Um, it is it is very expensive. It's not cheap. Uh, it's like about 80 bucks a month. I think they have a, a slightly cheaper package. Um, but uh, what they do have is they have a 30 day free trial. So what you can actually do is sign up and then for 30 days, do all of your uh, keyword research like I've done here at the top here. They're all available in, in, in different tabs, um, as you can see. Um, you can actually download all these things to spreadsheets, um, keep it on your computer and, and, and you've done all your keyword research you need for the next six months, then just cancel your subscription. Um, that's what I would do if I was short of money. Um, I just have an ongoing subscription to this. I, I, I probably only use this once every couple of months, um, but it, you know, it, it is a, a useful tool, uh, particularly uh, when you just want to find out a little bit about uh, the competition. Hope you found that useful. Um, I'll put a link below the video to um, SE Cockpit and um, I'll see you next time.